let's use the mean value theorem to try to prove this statement, this claim right here. So to that end, we will let f of t equal sine tx on some interval a to b. Uh, actually, let's make that a closed interval where a b does not include zero. Okay, we're going to make sure it doesn't include zero essentially because we need to make sure that this is true on x not equal to zero. Okay, since the function sine t of x is both continuous and differentiable on that interval, the mean value theorem will give us what? The mean value theorem implies that there is a c in the interval from a to b with f prime of c equaling f of b minus f of a all over b minus a. Okay, so by simple substitution, since f of t is equal to sine tx, that means that f prime of c would be, well let's see, the derivative of sine of t of x would be cosine of t of x, but that's evaluated at c, and then that would be multiplied by the derivative of the inside, and the derivative of tx with respect to t would be just x, and then on the right hand side we'll get sine b minus, sine, sorry, sine bt minus sine at all over b minus a. Now notice that the cosine of cx is bounded between negative 1 and 1. It's just a cosine function. So therefore, the absolute value would be bounded between 0 and 1. So thus, what do we get from that? Well, we'll get that the absolute value of sine bt minus sine at over b minus a is going to be bounded by, it's going to be less than or equal to 1 times the absolute value of x, right? Because cosine was bounded above by 1. But now this effectively gives us what we want, because if we divide over by the absolute value of x and multiply up by the absolute value of b minus a, which we can do because x was non-zero, we end up with the final result of, oops, these over here should be x's. BTAT would be bx ax, I apologize for that, but the end result would be sine bx minus sine ax over x would be less than or equal to b minus a. And the result we technically want would just follow from the fact that the absolute value of b minus a is the same as the absolute value of a minus b. Whoops, messed up over here too. bx ax. Mm.